Well, welcome to another lounge session. So great to have you with us and it's a great privilege that you're joining us. Today I have Gary Phelps, a very good friend of mine with us today. Gary, welcome to lounge session. Bishop, thanks for having me. Hello everyone that's watching by, by live stream. It's good to be here. I'm excited to share the word of God with you and let's see what God's going to do today. So we're talking about financial stuff and uh, to drop straight into it, we're talking about Elijah as a man of God, as a prophet of God, being sent by God in a time of drought and a time of economic downturn, you can call it, to be sent to a widow yeah. um, who is collecting sticks, exactly, literally to make her last meal with her son and to die. His very presence, his very atmosphere brings a difference that for the rest of that time, there is not only provision for himself, because God said, that's where I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to provide for you when you put yourself in this woman's life. Not only for himself, but for this woman and her son for the rest of the time, there is this provision. And so the thought is that we often hear people say, a company that I work for is literally blessed because I'm there. Mm. And it sounds arrogant and it sounds facetious and it sounds, how can that possibly be you or the different maker? But actually it's the truth. Come on. We are carriers of God's life. So to darkness we are light, to sickness we are healing, to, to bondage we are deliverance yeah. because of the very spirit of life that we are carrying with us. Exactly. And to poverty and to detrimental financial situation. Yeah. We literally have the detonator, the yeah. catalyst, the thing to change within every single one of us. Because when we are involved, yeah. we can expect God yeah. to bring a change, a difference, mm. a breakthrough in our finances. Exactly. You know, Bishop, it's interesting that you're using Elijah this morning because, you know, listeners, what you will notice about Elijah is that Elijah goes to this woman. This woman has an opinion about what she has yeah but the prophet of god comes and changes her perception on what she thinks she has mm. and so often we are we are introduced to men and women of god not so much to give us physical supply but so that our minds can be shifted by us seeing what we do have through the eyes of god wonderful number two i think what is important about the bible the bible says that Jesus said to the people, he said, listen, I've got to go, but I leave with you a comforter. And that's so powerful. And we need to know that we have the Holy Spirit in us. Wow. That we have the comforter. We have the one that directs us to sometimes the one, the widow with the two sticks and the last hand of meal. The seemingly type of person that you think can never ever meet your need in a time of famine in your life. Whether awesome. that be emotional, mm. whether that be financial, whether that be spiritual. Yeah. But God is no respecter of persons, He's a respecter of principles. And God will send you to a person, irrespective of, the, of their background. And that person, if you trust God, being led by the Spirit, you will then find the provision within that person and the fulfillment of your need within that person. Why? Because God is the master of our needs. So, to, to wrap this and to, to, to let everybody know, the Holy Spirit is who we are talking about this month. Mm. You've so wonderfully brought that into the financial thing. God partnered us with His, the person, mm. His Holy Spirit. Yeah. And He then says, listen, when He comes, yeah. He will be the empowerment. Come on. He will be the power. Yes. So we, as children of God, partnered with the Spirit, are walking in a time and an area of our life that there is enough power, there yes. is enough provision. Yes. As you said, not just for finances. Yeah. And our eyes should not just be on finances, but what is the Spirit leading me to do? Because here is this widow woman. It's totally the opposite of what we would expect. Come on. But the Spirit says, go there. Yes. Be present there. Yes. And, and when I listen to the Spirit yeah. going there, often my life has been changed. The season has been changed That's right. because I've been obedient to what the Spirit is saying. I've heard by the grace of God. God has given me the Spirit by His grace. Yeah. Now I believe in what God says and I operate for that moment in the Spirit, in That's love. Right. And it changes not only that person's situation, yeah. but mine as well. Exactly. Bishop, I think for us as believers, for those watching, we as believers of Christ, 
who are, who are filled with the Holy Ghost. We want to manifest heaven on earth. And in order to do that successfully and on a continuous basis, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to operate in our life. We have to obey what the Father tells us to do. And we can then see the heartbeat of heaven manifesting on earth, not only within our finances, but within every part of our life. So Gary, thanks very much for sharing with us today. Yeah. And I know it's close to your heart and I know it's experiential knowledge yeah. that God has touched and done so much stuff for you. Thank you. And uh, we, we really pray that God will bless you further Thank you, in, in your endeavors. Thanks Thank for being with us. Thank you, Bishop.